Hey guys, it's Dilzer. Today we're going to look at something really interesting. And this is something that's definitely be added into your uh, methodology process and its capabilities. So Linux capabilities provides users access to a resource or process as a root user. Now remember, this is a full control as root user, but a small portion of the whole privilege. This prevents full takeover, thus reducing the risk. Again, this is a new arsenal to add to your methodology that we have discussed in previous videos. So let's take a look at what capabilities are and how it works and how we can escalate our privileges. Right, so here's my box. As per usual, let's just do the usual snooping and there's nothing in there. All right. Um, we can run find if you want to. Let's use sim find. That's taking a sweet time. Really taking a sweet time. Meanwhile, I can tell you if you want to know more about capabilities, please do Google information. There are many different types of capabilities available, uh, which I'll show you on the next command that we run. As soon as this is finished doing what it needs to do, I think I'm just going to cancel it at this stage because it's taking far too long. All right, to the main stage, and then we'll do sudo dash l as well to complete the methodology and. And again, there's nothing there for us. All right, let's clear that. All right, capabilities. And the command for that is get cap dash r forward slash root dev null. If I could spell. And there we go. This is showing that Python 2.7 has a capability of set UID. Right, so how, how do we exploit this, right? So the current user basically can set effective user ID of that particular process. So what we wanna do is we, the user, want to change the effective user ID of Python 2.7 or whatever program we write in that um, to root, right? And so to do that, we're gonna do the following. One of the first things we're gonna do is let's open up a text editor your choice, whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna open it up in here. I'm gonna call it exploit.py. And I think it's I to insert, we'll find in a second. So firstly, import OS. Remember that from one of the videos we did earlier. But let's type in os.setuid0 because uh, root is always zero. os.system um, bin bash, I believe it is. Yes, escape, and let's save that. All right, perfect. Now let's run that script, python exploit.py. And there you go. Who am I? Root ID. There we go. We've set the UID in that script. If you remember, and let me load that script up. Exploit.py. See the UID here? Set UID to zero, which is root. The group ID is still student. All right, the groups here, as you can see, still student. But we escalated our privileges, exploited the fact that it's got capability of set UID here on that process. And with this import OS, set the UID to zero. And then run that. And that's how we've got root. Guys, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for your time.